hello everyone and welcome to this video part 3 of this series bill android app for custom object detection so i've already made two videos on this part 1 and part 2 so the process for this is the same now this is for the latest version of the tensorflow sample app for object detection i already made a blog on this previously so as you'll see this is the same as this the latest blog the only difference is in the last step that is step number 21 so for this we'll be using the latest version of the tensorflow object detection sample app so now i won't be going through the first 20 steps as i've already done those in this part one of this video then part two was for the older tensorflow version app okay now this is part three of that so i'll just jump right into step number 21 now we will download the tf light model with metadata and adjust the tf light object detection sample app we've done all that previously in part one of this video we've attached metadata using step number 20 and we have the model detect.tf light with metadata attached to it it also has the names of the classes attached to it along with metadata so that is all we need you can download the latest version of the object detection app from over here tensorflow examples just download it inside light examples this is the one that we will be using object detection the android app over here this is in kotlin so okay let's get started i already have this downloaded on my desktop over here let's open it in an android studio object detection open this android trust project okay let it build okay that's done now you can click on make project and this will download all these default models for the sample object detection app which are trained on the coco data set you'll see all these models have metadata attached to them so that will also have the class names of all the coco data set objects so if you want to remove this and you do not want to use the default for models for coco dataset in your custom object detection app all you have to do is go inside gradle scripts build.gradle for module app and comment out this line apply from download underscore models dot gradle now i will be using these models so i won't be commenting this basically it downloads all these models from download underscore models dot gradle and places them inside your assets directory it creates an assets directory inside the main directory let me show you so it does not have an assets folder here right now once you click on make project it downloads these models and creates an assets directory and places all the models over there now if you don't want to use this you can comment this and then manually create an assets folder over here I have mentioned that in my article as well you can create the assets folder manually if you don't want the default models to be downloaded that come bundled with the sample object detection android app but i will be using this so i'll just click on make project let me click on sync now and then make project okay so that's done let's close this let's close this as well now okay now copy the models with metadata inside the assets folder so we'll copy our own model you'll see it has created this assets folder after i clicked on make project we created this assets folder and downloaded all these default sample object detection models inside it so 
copy your model with metadata inside this now we do not need to provide the path to the labels .txt file as we used to do for the older version of the tensorflow app because we already have them attached with this model inside the metadata so that will be enough head over to the article now next make changes in the code as mentioned below first set the names of your tf flight model as model name so we'll have to add our model inside val model name inside object detector helper.at file now i'm doing this for the kotlin version so let's head over to the object detector helper here it is the object detector helper.kt file so this is where we have to add our model model underscore custom this is our custom model and write the name of the model that was detect.tf light that we copied inside the assets folder and then we have to give this down here at the bottom under companion object custom and set the order in which you want your models to appear in the drop down in your object detection app so i want my model to appear first so that is why i'll set it to zero you can set it however you like but make sure to use the exact same order everywhere because that is the exact order we'd also be setting inside the strings.xml file now we have these four over here you need to add another item over here you can call it whatever you want I'll call it my custom model or just simply custom model and that is it that is saved close it now that's it we've already done this if done this and we've added our model in the strings.xml file and that is it now you can run the app first let's test it on a virtual device before testing our unreal android device okay let's run it on a virtual device okay launch succeeded now first it will ask for permissions okay right now the model that is selected is our model bring this up and select this as mobile net v1 which is trained on the coco data set so okay this is giving the values for the coco data set that's fine change this to our custom model and let's see if it gives us any values okay right now this is on a virtual device so it is just throwing out garbage values but i just want to make sure that it is running properly okay so it is giving us some values so okay it is functioning just fine now let's close this and run it on our android device now before running this on android device i want you to set it for your front camera so go to fragments camera fragment line number 234 you will see this says here lens facing back change this to lens facing front and that is it now we can run this on our android device and we will see what the results are ok let's run it ok the launch succeeded now allow Okay, now let's test it on our device 
Okay, so as you can see, this is showing me with mask right now. Without mask, with mask, without mask, with mask. So, okay, that was perfect. Let's close this. Okay, so that's it. And that was how you set the latest TensorFlow object detection app for your custom TF Lite models. Okay, you can use it with multiple different models. As I showed you, I had the different models over here in object detector helper. I had the default models for the Cocoa dataset and I also had my custom model. So I could also have easily added a few other models that have been trained on other objects. I can simply follow the same process and add these models over here, add them in the strings.xml file and down here in companion object and then use that for my Android app. And that is it. Now we've built a basic object detection app. Now you can add any customizations or any more features to it if you want okay to make changes to your custom object detection app so basically this is how you get started with deploying any tf flight model on an android app for the latest tensorflow version app so all right that was it for this tutorial if you've enjoyed this please click on the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel and all right i'll see you in the next one